Hey guys, what's up? All right, all right, all right. It's Double Deuce back. Tonight, we have something that I probably didn't really need, but I had to have one. So stay tuned, and I'll give you my opinion on it. Welcome back, everybody. So, these were out there. I love engines. I absolutely love them. Um, big, small you know ugly pretty doesn't matter um it's it's the engineering um miracle of an engine okay um so when the system you know v twin come out i was i was pretty intrigued by that so and when i got it i was really blown away by the quality of this engine um it is insanely like nice i mean in the uh the instructions it's uh it's like they apologize for the engine but i don't think they really need to apologize at all i mean to me this was uh it, it is a true 60s harley davidson panhead motor uh this thing just it's it's incredible the way it sounds um i won't put a video up tonight because it's really late um but as you can see, I kind of got it all set up here and I made a little test stand for it. Now it's got the black jugs, it's got the chrome uh, pan covers, and it's got the chrome side cover. Now this one here has the early um, oh, CDI trigger unit in it, but they, they sent me a, an external one I guess you put on there. There's really no directions with it, but I'll figure it out. But um, right now I'm running 40 to 1 true fuel. Um, you know, it's just basic. You can buy this at your local hardware store. Free weed whackers and all that stuff, right? I'm running that in here right now. And I do want to try nitro. Um, because I think nitro would be pretty cool too. But right now I'm running the CDI with the spark plugs in the thing. And... It has a really nice, crisp, timed trigger when it fires. I mean, it's it's not kind of all over the place. It fires every single time, ba bop, ba bop, ba bop, ba bop, and that's like that's what you want in an engine. And I'm hoping that the new toy and V8 that I just bought, um, I see on the back of the camshafts, there is a um, little tab for distributor, so. But we'll get to that in a later video. But for now, um, this is just a stunning piece of work. It is, I mean, it is, it is like, I was, I was speechless when I opened the box up. I looked at it and I was like, wow, they're, you know, the quality looks pretty nice, you know. And it fired up right out of the box without a problem. Um, and then probably my third or fourth start on the thing, I had um, a little issue with, the one-way bearing in the thing which I imagine can be replaced but right now I just kind of put the shaft in there and just kind of give it a little kick up in the air and um, this thing kind of vibrates so bad I think it was probably my fault of why the bearing went bad but you know it was all over the place I couldn't hold it still you know these things have to be mounted solid and you have to have a nice straight you know shaft entry into the thing to get it to run and but I learned the hard way and you know but still um I just I, I mean I just love listening to the thing run so now I know what the size of it is so now I can make a project out of this and I see Johnny Q90 um he put his in in the toy in Santa Cruiser which is pretty cool. That was that was pretty awesome. Um, so the thing is, you can put this engine in just about anything you want to. But I'm going to make a Harley build. Like I don't know if it's going to be like a chopper or a uh, a three wheeler. A yeah, three wheeler will probably be more, I guess, uh, adaptable to the RC because it'll be more stable. But even if it wasn't, and even if it built like the, uh, you know, the All-American Chopper, you know, back in 69 there, and everybody knows which one I'm talking about in the movie there, with, uh, you know, um, 
oh geez, I can't remember their names now, but um, Peter Fonda, you know, that was a wicked cool bike. Um, I don't know if it had a, a pan head on it or if it was a shovel head, I can't remember now. But, you know, I'm gonna build something. And even if it was a display RC, and it ran that would be pretty cool too so give me your thoughts on it you know i know steve from rc tanks and trucks he wanted to build a morgan out of one of these and you know and i thought about you know coming up with an idea to to work together with him on it but i didn't know what the size was until i got mine and uh the, the morgan's pretty cool you know that's a three-wheeled um vehicle also and it's kind of um, set up kind of ass backwards the, the the engines in the front and then you know it goes back with two wheels in the front to one in the back so I have to kind of dig into my history on that car because it's it's kind of something that was you know I've always been all about Chevrolets and Chevelles and all that stuff and uh, Fords and Chryslers and you know I grew up during that muscle car era but the Morgan is a new thing for me uh, British cars were kind of a um, they were a love that my father had. That's how I learned all about British cars. But long story short, back to this. If you get a chance to grab one, I would do it. I really would. And it's not because of, uh, you know, I'm marketing or nothing like that. But it is a really cool engine. And just to have one on your shelf, it is a, like when I walked into work today with this engine, I had about 10 of my workmates just like their jaws dropped. I mean, when, when I brought that to work, the supercharged Aussie B8, they didn't, I didn't, it didn't get the reaction that this little engine did. And this little engine is actually very affordable and it's very fun to listen to. So I know that it's an, this is all an early dawning stage of all these desktop engines and all this stuff. And I know that I kind of started a trend by sticking them in an RC car, trying to get a little bit of more scale realism out of them. But, uh, you know, these are these have been all over the Internet right now. And I, I didn't really jump on the thing because I was waiting for the Toy and V8 to come out. And um, so I'm, I'm counting... <laughs> I'm kind of betting that hopefully this will be a good engine um, because like I said before I've checked the like every all the photos of the engine I've checked them out okay um, now between Sisson and Toyin right now there's like a little war going on one thing that I was kind of um, puzzled with was the um, on the valve cover of the Toyin V8 it said a Howen V8 so I don't know if they're changing names or, or what's going on over there. It's like I I uh, contacted Mona. I asked her if they joined Ventures with Howen, you know, maybe. I don't know. I sent them all the information, um, you know, about the crankshaft, you know, thrust bearing and all that stuff. So I don't know. Um, right now, it, it, it's in a pre-sale state. So... And we won't see this engine until probably, I think it was the end of June, they said. Um, so, <clears throat> the other Sisson I had bought was the four-cylinder. I bought the four-cylinder flathead Sisson. And um, this one was so popular that they actually made these and put the flathead off and shelved it for a while. And that will not be out till the end of the month. So... Hopefully I'll have that review coming up there because I already have a build ready for that one too. This this in here, I didn't really have a build at all. Um, and it came in the mail and now I have a build for it. So I might be a busy guy here in the next uh, few months, but it is what it is. And I do have a couple of um, RC cars ready to go for the Toyin V8. So... I won't know exactly until I get it. I got some rough measurements from those guys. Um, I'm not seeing any mounting, uh, you know, mounting things underneath the engine. But um, I'll figure that out when I get it. So hopefully they'll put something either it's on the oil pan or, you know, in the side or something. Or something. maybe I can do something in the side. 
you know, that's a problem with a, um, a computer generated engine. They, you know, they don't, they don't have mounting areas. They don't have all that stuff until the last minute because they, they rely on our feedback for that stuff. So, but long story short, if you get a chance to get one of these V twins, I highly suggest you get one. Um, it's like, like I say, it wasn't in, it wasn't even in my future to get one, but when I seen it, I had to have it. So like, share, subscribe. If you want any questions, comments, feel free to hit me up. I am back online again. And, uh, it's a little, a little sketchy with my, um, my browser right now, but it's still updating. And, uh, so we're all good there. So, and hopefully I'm getting caught up on all you guys' questions and comments. So, anyways, this is Denny. I'm signing out. I'm going to grab a shower and go to bed because it is a eh, quarter after eight. And I just got home from work and I am whipped. So, you guys have a good one. And I'll catch you later, man. Adios. Bye. Love to all.